And I should also take a look at my main army, which is you. Just to see if you've got everything you need. 20% charge bonus. I think I'd actually rather that with the armor. And 5% tax rate is actually pointless. Let's give you the integrity. Ah, here we go. Integrity. Wealth for industrial? Ah, oh, sweet providence. Uh, Normandy? I mean, the best choice would be Tournai. But that's Ferdinand, and I'm pretty sure that Ferdinand's already got... Oh no, that's just 5% tax rate. I thought that was going to replace the expense of dyes, but it's not. What's better? Plus 10 money from industry or plus 5 from taxes? Plus five from everything. I mean, industry would be another 65. Whereas everything would be 550, 11. I mean, that already is five. I mean, it would be close. No, industry would actually be better. Oh no, the five taxes would be for... All of them combined rather than just industry. Um, yeah, we'll go for the 5% taxes. And we do need... Actually, one thing we could do is have you starting to march south to Lyon. We have military access through Trier, I'm pretty sure. Then you can fortify on the way, which will have you continue to gain integrity. And Normandy is actually going to be positive as of next turn. Awesome. Now, did we get a big bonus for the successful crusade? Yeah, we did. You have succeeded in fulfilling your holy vows, greatly inspiring the true believers to your realm. Plus one loyalty, plus five bonus public order because of the presence of Christianity. And our papal standing is ten. Which I wouldn't be that surprised if that's the maximum. The Pope is freaking chuffed with us right now. Oh shoot, I forgot to move you. Whoops. England wants me to join the war against France. Wisdom, you might find time to attack these people. As long as you're Let's wait until my army is home. Then we'll go and pick on France again. And then the uh, Mercurian Counter Crusade is, is going to appear at some point, probably. I am certain that yes. with your faith. A thousand times, yes. So, Upsalbom, we've now got an alliance with. So, I'm hoping that's one step closer to vassalizing them. In our good name, be welcome and speak in friendship. Still I will no. give Brabant, what about welcome, full alliance? Welcome, my friend. Yay, finally. Give ear to you and give tongue to the people's words. How about you pay me? We always remember with honor those we can No, seriously, how about you pay me? Do you not be There you go. Okay, so we now have a full alliance with you. So Brabant, like you should just be overwhelmed. Whoa. Lorraine's higher? Really? I have no relations with Laura. Why do you like me so much? Oh, because I have so many treaties with people. I just have never met you before. Well, let's go and Your fix that. Your reputation goes before you. Find a welcome here and speak as you wish. And I'll be taking some money with that. Okay, maybe not that much. I dislike begging. But we require money. Surely you can help your good friends. That, that's funny, because I too require money.
There we go. I knew we could come to some uh, understanding. Ah, and I can trade with Jerusalem as well now. You know what? Be My being a source of money talk, for you, I'm okay with. Wine when we have agreement. I'm not even going to ask you for money, because you're going to need every penny to hold on to Cairo. Hail! As requested. Aww. Fine, I will break with my tradition of not paying people, and I'll pay you. 300 to 4,900. I'm not paying you five grand for that, no way. No way, no how. Oh, this is... I thought this was going to be dangerous waters to travel. Apparently it's not. I must say I'm a bit surprised. Oh no, it was across here that I tried to go. Apparently along this bit it's fine. I was so close. Yeah. Hey, Normandy is no longer diseased, yay. And speaking of no longer diseased, we get uh, physicians next turn. We find our coffers temporarily empty, and we're wondering if you would care to make a contribution. No. For 6,000? No. I mean, I know I am basically the Bank of Europe at this point, but no. Can you not commit their efforts to attack these people? I'd love to, but no. Let, let, let me get my armies home. Also, speaking of getting armies home, I need to get my army home. Oh shit, I didn't have access through you. I am so sorry, Patria. I could have sworn I did. <laughs> Just been parking an army outside their city. <laughs> sorry! We come in peace, shoot to kill. Georges the Ninth, His Holiness, the Pope has gathered up to God, ending his fruitful chapter in church history. A new Pope has been elected. Without delay, this man has a chance to guide all of Christendom. And... Whoa. F oh. Oh, because we're building our cities up. Whoops. We need to build a church. Worthy of Mordor. Or just worthy of the Pope. Either would do. Let's normal march to here. Waiting for orders. Okay, then we can recruit another one of those. Glorious thing to serve your people. Soldiering. It's a good life. I'd love to get some dismounted necks for my other army. But I think I might get a Actually, no, you'll be stuck here for two turns. Don't do that. Wait until we get to Lyon, and then you can do it. Alright, so, Tourai, you can build the position. Then I think that Rouen, you're going to switch back to wheat fields. So we can get the extra food going. Okay. Uh, wheat farm level three. There's the level 3 other farms. Oh, including the mill. Oh, that's sugarcane. Stonemason. We do need that too. But no, I think that what we want is this. So we can get the level 3 distillery. I'd also love to know where that textile artisan is. Because if anyone's going to have a textile artisan, it should be freaking me. That's candles. That's pottery. Like, we're the kings of the cloth industry in this era. All your cloth are come from me. I'm not seeing cloth as a resource, so it must be a building. What kind of building, though?
There's silk. Textile artisan, it's the silk weaver. I see. Boo. money now it's ridiculous ah no has no ability you are tax rate guy and also public order guy which is actually down that path all right where's my army Bertrand bring me back my legions How many turns is that? One, two, three, four, five. No, you'll definitely be out of integrity by then. So yes, you're going to sail across here to Sicily, where we do have military access, and then you're going to go and set up a fort there for a, a short time. In the early days of the Netherlands, our money was made on we the cloth industry before we went into spice and other trade. Empty. Mainly and because Antwerp fell to Spanish. To make a yeah, exactly. Which is why Flanders starts with an alliance with, Eng with England in this, because this was basically the beginning of the wool trade from England going to Flanders and then being processed into cloth. It was basically proto industrialization. The real first rise of towns and town artistry was in Flanders. <clears throat> Which is why we have a really big buff to industry. I'll show you in a minute. Defensive alliance with Castile. No. I don't want to get too entwined with the major powers. I dislike begging. No. But we Not for five grand, not with an OPM. I come to ask this. Will you stand with I, I will join your war for free because I want their stuff. But let me get my armies home, England. Please. Hey dude, noticed your armies and ships are all out of position. If I give you this pathetic offer of money, would you commit suicide by attacking? Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's Norway. One of them. And some rather hefty French forces, too. Actually, you know what? I should probably leave my garrison army between the three cities so we can reinforce in any direction. Famine's still a thing, but that will actually go away next turn. Um, right. You... Normal start? Yeah. Disembarking now. Just hang out next to Syracuse. Gathering supplies. And then next turn you can go into fortification stance, and that should save us. Can't believe I'm getting so much intrigue loss. Um so I want you to go about halfway to something like that. And then from there you can basically reinforce in any direction. And then you're going to go into the fortification stance, which is now... No, you're still on minus one. Oh, because of the food. Yeah, that's that's going to go away. It's fine. Because we are upgrading... Or we are converting the food production here to wheat. And that should definitely be enough. And we're also going to get some more sa sanitation from Toai. Toanai. Your sanitation is... Bad. <laughs> minus five. You might need to build your own sanitation. Yours is minus four, and it's about to go up by two. Yours is minus... Yeah, every city is going to need its own sanitation. Yes, I'm aware. We'll be fine. Uh, Coldsy, thank you very much for the follow. Mustani, thank you for the bits. And Smokecats, thanks for the bits. Machine Tinkerer, thank you very much for the follow. Lancer Quest, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Just going through my notifications. Favourite era? As in, is this my favourite era? Um, probably the bit right after this, like Renaissance. 
Um, Age of Discovery, that's my favorite, I would say. Late Middle Ages, Early Renaissance. So close. Uh, Ocanides, thank you very much for the follow, welcome to the channel. Alright, we are going to hang out here. Hope you don't mind, Sicily, but I really need to recover some integrity, which this army is now going to do pretty effectively. Ayabids have declared war on Jerusalem. That was just a matter of time. Well, I hope Cairo was worth it, Jerusalem. I really do. Seeing as you've actually lost Jerusalem, you've just got Acre at this point. Food shortages have been resolved. We now have plentiful food supply. You're recovering. You're recovering. It's just going to take quite a long time. However, public order in all of my cities is now positive. You finished building the physician. That's good. We are definitely going to need more physicians, though. Um, next turn. No, two turns. No, probably three turns. You'll be able to build another building. Next turn, you can build another. And that, I think, is going to have to be sanitation. Any fun games to come out soon? I don't think so. Like, January and February are usually really quiet months because of the massive lead-up to Christmas. Like, I was actually going through my schedule earlier, um, basically decide what I wanted to do this week. I was struggling to fill it. I honestly don't know what else to do. Like, after having done so much with humankind, it's kind of left a bit of a void. Like, I want to play more, but I can't, because they've revoked that now. Your mission has failed. Mercenary contracts. Well, that's completely pointless, because mercenaries aren't a thing. Now, did that actually piss off the Pope? It did. Minus one. Oh, well. Um, you guys are just going to hang out and build up your integrity. Leonis, Delonia level 2. Oh, can't even build level 3. Interesting. Ah, one thing I can do, though, is have you recruit some more of those soldiers that I wanted. So I was going to go for two more of those. Two of those. Oh, I might be out of nobles. I mean, honestly, that will do for now. I don't want that army to be too big, because it is supposed to just be a garrison force. Uh, meanwhile, my dominion sucks, my power is weak, we have no control. All of these things do not surprise me. Oh no, you're a governor. You can become a castellan. No, provost. Provost. And Hughes, you're back. Hughes, what's your speciality? You are a defender. So we could actually bring Hughes in to replace... No, never mind. <laughs> You're actually the worst person we have. Yeah, we just don't have very good nobles. Like, at all. Oh, I was going to show you what our speciality is, wasn't I? Trading cities of Flanders. Choice mercenaries plus 100%, which is completely wasted as mercenaries aren't in the game. Expansion of the Flemish ports. Minus 50% construction cost for ports and plus 0.5 Bercher pop growth. And then here's the big one. Cloth halls of Flanders. Plus 20% wealth from in industrial buildings and plus 25% production of manufactured goods. And that is the basis of a lot of our economy. Like, the reason we're making so much money is because we are making so much money from trade. And a lot of that are the manufactured goods that we're producing. We're making 75 Selling them for 10 each. Stone is worth 8. Grain is worth 4. So you can kind of see just how good manufactured goods are. And we have a lot of trade partners. Like, we're at 100% export already. So we could expand that even further if we had the technology for it. It's just the tech's taking a little while to progress. Progress. 
took this amazing class in university about the age of discovery. Instead of a term paper, we had to buy a laminated map and a professor gave us a bunch of sea charts. We had a charter course using an old caravel ship, keeping in mind seasonal changes and provisions. It was super neat. I got an A on that one. Oh, that is a really good idea. I think we need more dwarves. Dwarves are on the um, schedule. Build a mega core empire in Stellaris. I'm just not that interested in Stellaris anymore. Last couple of times I played it, I was just like... This is doing nothing for me. So I really enjoy the chill attitude and knowledge. You can always try something that did not great, but you enjoyed. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> I'm not sure what. Like, for the time being, I'm done with Hearts of Iron. I'm just... I realised on Saturday just how ridiculously burned out I am on that game. And Hearts of Iron is another of those games that's just been dominating the channel for a really long time. But I just got... I just didn't enjoy it the last couple of times I played it. Um... Total War Warhammer, I'm kind of in a similar situation. Um, so I need to be careful with that one. I'm getting my Total War fix from this. I just had a couple of bad runs because we were playing the wrong factions. I'm liking Flanders more. I do kind of wish we were in a bit more danger. Like, I was tempted to try as Sicily. I really wish I could play Latin Empire. I was looking forward to the Latin Empire game, but they're just not feature complete at all. Um... Crusader Kings 3 just hasn't done well enough. Doesn't have the viewership anymore. Um, humankind is revoked, so we can't do that anymore. Heard good things about Hades, but Hades is an RPG, isn't it? RPGs just don't do as well. I mean, I'd love to play, for example, Outer Worlds or something like that, because that's what I'm playing in my off time. But again, having done Phoenix uh, Immortals Rising and having done... Sorry, Immortals, Phoenix Rising. And having done Valhalla, they just haven't done well. Hollow Knight, same problem. I'm not that interested in Hollow Knight either. It's a roguelike. Yeah. Dawn of Man, I've heard really bad reviews of. Like, the only other game that I'm looking at at the moment, which is super uh, early preview thanks to Slytherin, was Field of Glory. Medieval. Which, I'll be honest, I know very little about. I just know that I've been meaning to try Field of Glory for a while. I also considered Ultimate General, but again, I've played it too much. And I'd like to see Ultimate General, um, Revolutionary War, War of Independence, whatever it's called, and Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail, progress a bit more before I try that again. Same with Bannerlord. Like, I really do want to get into Bannerlord, it just needs more. I've played the early game too often because they're updating it so frequently, which is not a complaint. I love the fact they're updating it. But I also need to be careful that I don't overdo it with the early game, otherwise I'll just burn out. Oh, Thronebreaker Witcher Tales. That is a card game which I've been meaning to try for a really sodding long time. And I was just going through my Steam library. I was like, oh yeah, that. Wanted to try that for a while. So Thronebreaker Witcher Tales... Uh, we'll be doing it. It's basically single player Gwent with a story. I actually really liked Gwent, so curious to see how that goes. Rimworld. Eh. Yeah, chat likes Rimworld. I'm always a bit ambivalent towards it. I think I need to um, mod it pretty heavily. I need to make it a fantasy uh, thing with fantasy races and stuff. And I need to do more work to turn it into like a proper medieval type game rather than futuristic. I'm just not that interested in sci-fi. Fantasy and historical are more my thing. I know it's possible, it just takes a lot of research. A game you may love and it may not bring the viewership as Evil Bank Manager. I have it on my list, it's one I've been keeping an eye on. Airborne Kingdom. I don't know that one. Have a look, see. I'm not seeing anything called Airborne Kingdom. Airborne Empires? Is that the one you mean? Rimworld is boring. Now, unfortunately, that's not the. <laughs> the general opinion of RimWorld. Most people, I would say, really like RimWorld. I just need to do more with it. Battle Brothers, I just didn't like it the last two times I played it. 
Like, if there was another game similar to Battle Brothers, but not Battle Brothers, I might pick it up. Have I ever seen Suzerain? I saw Templin play that. I'll be honest, I don't know much about it, though. Positive. Thinking everyone's waiting for Mana Lords. Lots of people are waiting for Mana Lords. Imperator, there's a big update coming for Imperator. I'll hold off until then. RimWorld's arguably my favourite game. God goodness knows how many hours in it. I mean, I have quite a few hours in RimWorld as well. I like it. I just didn't like it that much last last two or three times I played it. It Another thing I found is the viewership starts high and then drops off a cliff after a session or two. It also does absolutely dreadfully on YouTube. Tom Clancy, same problem, it's not strategy. Like, the thing is, I think in the run-up to Christmas I was doing too many games which are not strategy. And it did cost. Like, viewership. Like, the, the week before Humankind came a thing, my viewership was struggling to hit 100 views. I have not had that for a long time. And it was kind of a wake-up call to say, yeah, have a genre and you kind of need to do more on that. Dwarf Fortress, I'm waiting for the uh, Steam version. It's not out yet. It's not available. E4, uh, again, I've, I've done it too often. There's just not that many interesting things left to do for me on E4. I've got 2,000 hours in it. Tropico, I have actually been watching um, Quill's Tropico playthrough, and I'm tempted to try Tropico again. Civ, Civ's done awfully. Like, Civ is just one of those games that I cannot touch because it does so unbelievably badly. Like, there's just a group of streamers that just have that locked down and you can't get into it. I would love to do more Civilization. It just does not have the viewership, unfortunately. Which is why I was a bit surprised that Humankind did so well. TNO's Hot of Iron. I'm not doing any more Hot of Iron. I'm, I'm done with that game for the time being. Yeah, Tropico. Could probably do Tropico. I'll put it on my list. Do, 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 do. Tra if I could spell it. Oh, no, no. That's Tropico. Trop. E. Co. That looks wrong. It's not wrong. Rule the waves. Um, it's a bit too spreadsheety for me. Civ is fun to play but not to watch. Yeah, I get that impression. Santa Solzar. Tintuna was actually recommending that one to me. Maybe. Steel Division 2. I bounced off of that game hard. Did not like it. At all. Which is annoying because I, I adored Ruse. Ruse was one of my favourite RTSs. It's up there with Dawn of War. But Steel Division um, Normandy and Steel Division 2 just didn't do it. I think they went too hard on the simulation side, not enough on the arcade side. Like, Ruse was so good for me because it was something you could just pick up and play. Whereas Steel Division feels like there's about a thousand different divisions. You need to know all of their stats to be even remotely competitive. And the Steel Division 2 single-player campaign is just not interesting. It was really dull. Like, Panzer Corps, I'd kind of like to get into Panzer Corps again. I just... I don't know. There's, there's something about that game. I, I enjoy it when I play it. But I always kind of struggle to pick it up. 